Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to create Facebook pixel for initiate checkout event. So without any further delay, let's see how we can do it. Okay, so we'll be setting up initiate checkout event for this website so if a user come to this site and select one of the products and add this product to the cart click on this view cart button and click on this checkout button then i have to try a checkout event okay so let's see how we can do it so you can see over here i have created a tag manager account for this website and in the previous videos i have shown you how to create facebook base pixel how to create facebook view content event and how to create facebook add to cart event and in the latest video I have shown you how to create Facebook pixel for view cut event. Okay, perfect. So if I go to the data layer schema for begin checkout event, then you'll be able to see the data layer schema for begin checkout. Okay, so this is the data layer schema for begin checkout or initiate checkout event. So if I go to the view cut event as well, then you will see the data layer schema as well for view cart event. So if you see the data layer schemas for view cart and initiate checkout or begin checkout is not different. So they're same actually. So if I create any variables for view cart events, then I don't need to create additional variables for begin checkout, okay? So if I go to the tag manager and go to the variable section, then you can see over here, so those are the necessary parameters I need to send for initiate checkout event, you know. So I have created all these variables for view cart event. That's why I, did, I don't need to create them again. So if I go to the variable section, then you will see. So this is e-commerce item. So I have created e-commerce items variable for passing all the items array, you know. So I don't need to create this variable. Similarly for multiple arrays content name. So this is the content name. Okay. So I have created a custom JavaScript variable for content name. If I try to show you, then you'll be able to see from here. Okay. So I don't need to create it again. Then for product IDs, I have also created a custom JavaScript variable for product IDs, you know, and for e-commerce value, I have created a variable for e-commerce value, okay? So if you don't know how to create them, I would suggest you to watch my view cut video first, like how to set up Facebook view cut event, you know, then uh, create all the necessary variables and then come to this video, okay? So. I'll click on trigger and create a trigger for begin checkout or initiate checkout event. So I'm going to click on new and I'll name this as begin checkout trigger. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to choose trigger configuration as custom event. And if I go to the tag assistant section and it, I'm going to choose begin checkout event and if I scroll up then you will see the event name begin checkout so I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in the event name section okay I'm going to click on save then I'll click on tags and I will create a tag for begin checkout okay so I'm going to click on new and I'm going to name the tag as Facebook begin check out tag okay perfect i'm going to choose tag configuration and select facebook pixel from here 
and I have created a Facebook pixel constant variable. So I'm going to choose it from here. So you can see over here, FB pixel. And from the standard section, I'm going to choose initiate checkout. Okay. So initiate checkout is basically begin checkout. And from the object property section, I'm going to give some property name and their values. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to use them from here. So the first property name would be event name. So I'm going to copy event name from here. Then the next property name would be content type. So I'm going to put content type over here. Then the next one would be content name. So I'm going to give content name over here. And the next one I'm going to be using is content IDs. Okay, perfect. Then next one is value. And the last one is currency. Okay, perfect. So I'll give their value as well. So event name would be initiate checkout. Perfect. So I'm going to copy initiate checkout from here and paste it over here. And the content type would be product. So I'm going to copy product from here and paste it in the property value section. And as the content name, I have created a custom JavaScript variable for content name. So I'm going to choose it from here. Okay. So you will get it from here, multiple array content name. And for content IDs, I have also created a custom Java, JavaScript variable for product ID. So I'm going to choose this one, multiple array product ID. And I have created a data layer variable for value. So I'm going to choose e-commerce value from here and currency. I have already created a data layer variable for e-commerce currency. So I'm going to choose item currency from here. Okay, perfect. And from the triggering section, I'm going to be choosing this one, begin checkout trigger. So I'm going to click on save. Perfect. So for checking whether it is working or not, I'm going to click on preview section. Okay. Then I need to provide my website URL over here and I'm going to click on connect. Then I'm going to choose one of the products from here. I'll add this product to the cart. I'm going to click on view cart event. And I'll click on this checkout button. Okay, so let's go to the tag assistant section and see whether our tag has fired or not. So you can see over here, Facebook begin checkout tag has fired one time. So if I click on begin checkout event and if I click on variable, then you will see all the item areas available here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so those are the five items I have purchased. Actually, I have uh i have added them to the checkout event okay and if you see the item currency is usd and if you see multiple array content name so those are the four items names or content names i check out actually so that's why it is showing multiple items or multiple item names and you can see over here multiple array product IDs. So this is the uh, four product IDs. I have uh, added them to the checkout event. Okay, that's why it is showing for one, two, three, four, five actually. Okay, so yeah, so everything is working fine. Everything is working properly. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have understood how to create Facebook pixel for checkout event uh, using multiple arrays you know so yeah uh, if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye